Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pirmal Jagan. Um, I'm gonna explain phishing emails part three today. There are totally five rooms and the first room, I explained how to analyze a phishing email manually. And in the second part, we have gone through the six real-time phishing emails. What are all the techniques can be uh, used to lure the victims? We have seen those details in the part two. And this is part three. Here, I'm gonna explain the different tools that are available, uh, which, we, which you can use while analyzing the phishing emails, uh, the both email header as well as the email body. So without wasting a time, let's begin. Now you are witnessing the third room of phishing emails by Try Hack Me. And the overview of this room is, learn the tools used to aid an analyst to investigate suspicious emails. So as simple as that. And I already began the machine, the introduction part. Let, let's read this. Remember the phishing email, the one, the room we covered and uh, how to manually analyze the phishing emails. And in this room, we are going to cover the various tools that are available for phishing analysis. And look at the tools that will aid us in the examination of phishing email header. Actually, the tools are going to help uh, to us to analyze both email headers as well as email body and cover the techniques to obtain hyperlinks, emails, expand URL if they are shortened. Uh, if you find, if you witness, if you came across any uh, malicious or suspicious emails, you might find a bunch of URLs and uh, uh, other links that might uh, make you to feel uh, tedious. So there are some tools. You can use those tools to extract all those URLs so we can automate that process simply and look into the tools to give us information, potentially malicious link without directly interacting with the malicious link. And there are certain links you may use. I mean, there are certain tools and online sandboxes. You may use those to check the legitimacy of a certain link and cover techniques to obtain malicious attachment from phishing emails and use malware sandboxes to detonate the attachments to understand further what the attachment was designed to do. All right, the warning. Uh, so the samples you, you will see are strictly not for the direct interaction because these are some real, these are the real time samples. So beware while handling these samples and nothing. This is just an information, information part and let's move on to the task two what information should we collect? And so in this task, we will outline the steps performed when analyzing suspicious and malicious email. So when you see your email header and when you see uh, the email body, what are all the information you might, I mean, you need to look for. So that is the short checklist here. So when you see the header, don't forget to collect the email, the sender email address, sender IP address, uh, try to do the reverse lookup for the sender IP and find their domain name, email subject line, recipient email address. This information might be uh, in BC or CCC, I mean BCC field. Reply to email address, if any. So what is the reply to address? Try to note that because sometimes the reply to email address might be different. So try to notice that and date and time. Afterward, we draw our attention to the email body. The next part is email body. So when you check the email body, uh, here, you, here is your checklist. Any URL, find, look for the URL. Do you have any URL or not? Any shortened URL or any suspicious links? Look for that and uh, the name of the attachment and the hash value of the attachment. Try to look for the attachments as well and uh, try to know, uh, find the hash value of that attachment so that you can use those hash value to search in some malware repositories to find uh, whether it's a known malware or new to this wild. So these are all the simple checklists that you can keep with you. Uh, be careful, not click any links or attachment, the same warning message. And uh, again, an informatory part, the next one, email header analysis. So from this part, we are going to look some tools. Let's look at the first tool, Google admin toolbox. and uh, I already opened it. So you are looking at the same Google tool, which is used for analyzing the email headers. 
and i got one of my uh, spam emails and i copied the header and pasted here and i am getting the results eventually it simply uh, assess that header and split the details uh, the relevant header de header detail and its values here and also you can see the mail traversal path i mean the mail traversing path from mail.dtgo.com the mail was originated and uh, this is the mail travel path and there is so this is the uh, image given here and there is another tool called message header analysis analyzer and this is the particular link i already opened that as well so i already uh, have it have that email header in my clipboard and pasting it here when i when i click analyze header it simply gives me the email subject message id creation time from to reply to email as well and along with these details it also give the message the mail traverse traversed path actually the mail originated from mail.dtgo.com it also gives the ip address of those mail servers so it is another additional uh, information given by this site and these are all two popular and major sites that you may use to analyze your email headers and uh, that is the screenshot given here apart from that we also have another site uh, which can be mentioned mailheader.org you can see how it parses and how it displays the email header details so this is the screenshot of that even though not covered the previous phishing rooms m p a message transfer agent is software that transfers the email between sender and recipient so there is another term comes in mail transfer agent a program on email server that receives messages from mail user agents or other mta either forward them to another mta if the recipient is on mta delivers the message to the local delivery agent so this is the simple explanation for mta mail transfer agent and the next part is the next uh, concept is mail user agent uh, mail user agent is simply the email clients that we are using to retrieve the email from the pop3 or imap server so that is that's what they given here an email client uh, application used by end user to access the mail server to read compose send the email messages commonly mail user agents include microsoft outlook mozilla thunderbird for example so this is pretty much about the mta and mua now let's see the notes here uh, the note here the option on which tool to use research ultimately reset, uh, sorry rests ultimately on you uh, it's good to have multiple resources to refer to as each tool might reveal information that another tool might not reveal okay and uh, the tool below can help you to analyze the information about the sender ip address hope you uh, already came across uh, a few ip lookup tools and ip info is one of such tools you can simply use this particular tool to view your ip and also to query about other public ips so here you can give your ip address and get the relevant details it, it displays along with its autonomous system number and uh, its its domain register and the route to that that particular ip and you can also see few other details and the abuse contact and all so this is about the ip info.io you can use this tool you can keep this tool handy to assess your the 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 phishing email originated ip address so let's let me get that ip address 135204 so i can check where this mail originated from you can see the region is rio de janeiro brazil and uh, they also gave the autonomous system and the isp details here so from this particular uh, autonomous system number and from this particular network this mail has originated now let's move to the next tool url scan.io actually it's a website where you can probe any kind of urls that you are that you are facing if you suspect uh, any url you can feel free to add that url in this particular site to get to know more details about that url 
let me try my own url permaljagan.com and uh, when i do the public scan it will give me the details about that site and here we go we got the details actually the home page of my website and also some other details so this is how you need to probe for a specific url and that's what they gave here url scanner io is a free service uh, and free service to scan and analyze websites when a url is submitted to url scan.io an automated process will browse to the url like a regular user and record the activity that this page navigation creates this includes the domains and ip contacted the resources and requested from this domains as well as additional information about the page itself url scan.io will take a screenshot of the page record the dom content as we see the screenshot in that page javascript global variable cookies created by the page and myriad of other observations if the site is targeting the users one of the more i mean one of the more than 400 brands tracked by the url scan.io it will be highlighted the potential malicious on the scanned results so this is how the usual scanned results will look like totally worthy site to visit and if you find if you suspect any url to be malicious you can feel free to inspect the url in this site okay let's move on to the next one uh, uh, so so far i have showcased a url i mean the site to analyze or examine a url but the next one is reputation check and there is uh, a reputation points for each and every url and if you wish to check the suspicious url has how many reputation points and what is the reputation you can feel free to use this talos site cisco talos reputation site you may use this particular reputation site to uh, to probe for ip or domain reputation and also talos file reputation let me explain this later before that let's do this ip and domain reputation and again i'm going to use the same domain of mine it simply probes and collects the reputation details i guess the details not yet established not yet given here since my site is new so this is where you can check and also there is a file reputation the same cisco talos provision the file reputation as well okay now you can see the screenshot here when they are probing for a domain called capitai-1.com actually you can see this this particular domain name resembles another popular brand capital1.com and this might be the fishy one so when they try to probe this they also give the reputation as unknown so this is suspicious and uh, what is the official site name of bank that capital one try to resemble as i said it is nothing but capital one capital one.com i think that would be the answer yeah that's the answer let me close this and move on to the next one so far we have seen how to analyze a email header and how to uh, check the uh, the email originated ip and domain and now let now let's move on to the email body analysis this is very very crucial and now it's time to direct your focus on your email body this is where the malicious payload may be delivered to the recipient either as a link or attachment so it might be link or attachment so beware while uh, accessing it links can be extracted manually either directly from html formatted email or by sifting through raw email header so let's see this below is the example of obtaining link manually from an email by right clicking and link choosing the copy link location so when you witness an email you can simply keep your cursor on that url and right click and you can click copy link location to copy that url in your clipboard that is a basic uh, conventional way of getting the url and that is tedious process if you witness bunch of urls in one email 
it would be taking much time to get all those urls but we have another solution and another tool to ease that process to ease that process and the same can be accomplished with assistance of a tool the tool can aid us with this task url extractor so let me explain introduce that tool as well url extractor so here we go you can see this is the tool actually what can this tool do use this tool to extract fully qualified url addresses from web pages or data files search a list of web pages for url the output one or more columns of url addresses can you can see the output below in the excel sheet okay now we can also able to export the, i mean export the output as excel now what we need to do is there are three options here enter data choose file and enter url you can simply put your email body here and you can look for the extract url when you click this it will extract all those urls present in that email file and it will display here either you can copy that email file content and paste here or you can simply import that eml file here or you can enter the url of that eml file so all three data entry methods are possible and first of all i got an email header and the email raw email with i mean this email contains the list of urls so what we are going to do is we are simply going to copy the entire content and going to paste here and uh, after pasting when i click extract i can see the list of urls extracted here so this is the simple way to extract all those urls and apart from this we also use cyberchef to extract the urls let me explain that as well so when you go to cyberchef you can simply copy it in the input field the eml file content and when you bake it with extract urls it will remove i mean it will simply isolate all those urls url extract urls display total it also displays the total number of urls found a very simple way of extracting the urls from an email file perfect now so that's the way that's that's what they are trying to explain and uh, tips it is important to note the root domain of the extracted urls you will need to perform analysis on that root domain as well for example uh, we got certain urls here and also we got to know there is a domain acn.com so when you find any malicious domains like this you need to perform analysis on those domains as well and those domains can be checked with the domain reputation that i explained before by using the cisco talos site and you can also after extracting the url yeah that's what they said and if the email has an attachment you will need to obtain the attachment safely accomplishing this is ec thunderbird by save, save button okay you can use this method to simply save an email attachment without detonating it that is very important and once you obtain the attachment try to find the hash value of the attachment once you get the hash value use that hash value and try to google that and try to find find that hash uh, whether that hash is present in any other malware or uh, threat intel repositories so you can that you can use that as well and as i said there is another feature provision by the cisco talos to check the file reputation i can i can use that particular site to simply enter the hash value here and uh, search it will give you the result so here we go in the screenshot they included one hash value and when they check for the file reputation it gives as malicious so you can use this to to check the file reputation and also you can use the virus total virus total is very popular tool to to check uh, url file or domain ip address uh, to check its legitimacy so various security vendors uh, in, uh, you know integrated with this virus total tool so you can check uh, how many check security vendors flagged that file or url as malicious by using this simple virus total tool 
so this is how the result will look like when they query it for that particular hash you can see the list of security vendors they flagged it as malicious it is highlighted in red 23 out of 62 vendors flagged it as malicious so this is how you need to assess a file whether uh, it is malicious or not but what if the file is very new very fresh suspicious file there is another way let me explain that in the upcoming tasks and another tool company worth mentioning is reversing labs along with this above explained tools you can refer this as well and i'll i'll try to add the links for all the discussed tools in the in the video description so that it will be easy for you to download or refer the tools very easily so how can you manually get location of a hyperlink copy link address i guess that is the answer by right clicking i mean by hovering your cursor on that link and right clicking you'll be able to see this option copy link address when i give is the wrong answer i guess copy link location yeah that's the right answer now let's move to the site next one malware sandbox as i said if the email sam i mean if the attachment or url is totally unknown very fresh and very new you might use some other solutions or some other websites and those websites are nothing but online sandboxes those applications uh, will aid you to analyze the behavior of the attachment or the url so what is the basic functionality is luckily as defenders we don't need to have malware analysis skills but i disagree with this statement as a cyber defender you must have uh, the basic knowledge of every uh, concept and it is not to it is not possible to learn everything but try to learn as much as possible everyday learning is very important and to dissect and reverse engineer malicious statement attachment uh, to understand the malware behavior and there are certain tools that available online so that you can use those tools for instance we can upload the attachment obtained in the potentially malicious so here you can see the first application app.any.run so let me close these links before opening that so this is one of the site so this is the appearance of that site app any one of the popular online sandboxing tools so this is how it looks like when you wish to initiate a scan you can probably click new task and you can either use a url or upload a suspicious file and when you click the run public task it will analyze that sample or the url behalf of you and for free version for the free uh, community users only windows 7 32 bit machine is available if you ready to pay you will be able to uh, use other operating systems and other architectures as well so this is the uh, overview of the app any sandbox similarly there is another sandbox called hybrid analysis this is the home page of that hybrid analysis uh, sandbox and there you can use uh, the same as file and url so the third one is jo security presents and the sandbox name is jo sandbox so jo sandbox empowers the analysis large spectrum of product features among the live interaction url analysis all based phishing detection yara sigma tool support so once it analyze the sample it also flags the the malware or suspicious activities with mitre attack matrix so it will be easy for you to understand its behavior um in my experience i am saying you know in you know among these three i prefer using jo sandbox because because i found jo sandbox uh, where was accurate most of the times and uh, this is just an informatory task so i'm just clicking finish it is done now now i'm moving to fish tool actually we have discussed so many tools but now we are going to discuss the crown jewel this, this is the uh, crown jewel of the phishing analysis tools why i am saying this because this is just one tool you are all you need to do is to import the eml file into this fish tool sandbox it will simply do the analysis both header and email body and it will give the results in various sections it will be easy for you to 
refer all those details in separate sections in detail so that is the beauty of this pish tool pish tool as per the site bu a security researcher investigating new pish kit a sock analyst responding to user reported pishing a threat intelligence analyst collecting pishing ioc's or an investigator dealing with email bond fraud pishing tool combine i mean pish tool combines threat intelligence osint email metadata and battle tested auto analysis pathways into one powerful phishing response platform making you and your organization formidable adversary adversary formidable adversary yeah and uh, this is a free community edition you can download and use uh, it has the free community edition for non commercial purpose and i uploaded a malicious email to phish tool and connected virus total to my account using the community api i mean community edition api key and this is this is another beauty of pish tool you can integrate your virus total community api with this pish tool so that whenever it finds any samples or url it will simply prop that virus total and it will grab the results it will show in the pish tool itself so this is the screenshot below are the few screenshot of malicious email of pish tool interface so here you can see how the pish tool interface look like uh, the bank actually they are trying to investigate one suspicious email one day once they uploaded the eml file they are able to see its uh, details the from to the header details and all it simply give splits all those information and give in the detailed view and also the originating ip and the reverse dns also it shows uh, all these details it is showing and also when you scroll down you will be able to see the message either in text or html format the email body can be uh, viewed in either html or text format normal format that is another beauty of this and the url when to view the url and the attachment there are separate tabs i mean separate boxes available you can use those boxes to view either attachment or urls and once you find the uh the result once you understand the emails natural naturality you can simply flag whether uh, it is malicious or not so that is another excellent thing so once you integrated with virus total it will show like this so let me uh, show the tool here so this is the simple analysis of one of the files that we that, we, that i came across the eml files when i uploaded it gave me this particular result and this is the email message in text as well as in html format and at the bottom you can see it will show the attachment if it if the mail contains and also the url is listed here and the url is suspicious of course and the virus total score is 3 3 out of 93 vendors flagged it as malicious so hence we tagged this particular email as malicious now let's try to answer the question look at the strings output what is the name of the exe file so let's scroll upwards and uh, let's look at the string it is asking for the executable name here i can see one executable name hash 454326 underscore pdf.exe that must be the answer here Four five four three two six hash four five four three two six underscore pdf dot exe. So when I submit, that's the correct answer. And let's move on to the next one. There are three cases given for our practice, so that we can use those tools and we can try to find the answers. Let's see the scenario. You are level one SOC analyst. Several suspicious emails have been forwarded to you from other coworkers. You must obtain details from each email for your team to imp uh, to implement the appropriate rules to prevent colleagues from receiving additional spam phishing emails. Task: Use tools discussed throughout this room and uh, help to analyze both email header and the body. Okay. Now, so this is the machine I already started. I already opened that email. Now. this is the file uh, given in the desktop it's an e eml file so when i maximize i can see 
uh, its raw format both header and the email body now i am simply closing let me scroll down i have few questions i need to answer i already tagged that particular eml file i already imported that file in the pish tool and i got the relevant uh, information here now what we need to do is just try to answer this questions so when we get into the pish tool home page this is how it it initially look like you have to download the eml file and you have to upload it over here that's what you need to do it will take care the rest of the things perfect so this is the page now let's try to answer what brand was this email tailored to impersonate let's see which brand this email is referring to and actually they try to impersonate as netflix that must be the answer let's try to answer here netflix yeah that's the right answer and what is the from email address and the from email address is nothing but so you can see the lengthy email id here this must be the answer when i click submit yeah that's the answer and what is the originating ip defang the ip address so let's try to get the i will close this uh, particular machine since i don't want this anymore as i exported the eml file and also terminating now what is the originating ip and the defang the ip addresses and the originating ip is given here all i need is to defang the ip so let me open the cyber chef and feel free to refer the hint here cyber chef can help you with this and we got this ip address let's put it over here 209 and i need to defang the ip address now i got the result and the next question is from what you can gather what do you think will be the domain of interest the defang the domain what do you think will be the domain of interest actually they are trying to get this particular domain the return path domain of interest and uh, this must be the answer and also i need to defang that i'm pasting here and i'm defanging the url removing the defang ip address here and uh, this would this would be the answer yeah perfect and what is the shortened url defang the url we need to find the shortened url so here we are just only one url we found and uh, we need to defang that url so when i paste this and submit i finished this phishing case 1 let me move to the phishing case 2 here and again the level 1 sock analyst the suspicious mail being forwarded to you a malicious attachment from phishing email inspected in the previous phishing rooms was uploaded any run for analysis investigate the analysis of the following questions okay now let me open this link they also gave the link over here and uh, all right it finished the loading uh, here is the document and they tagged it as suspicious activity so let me copy this what is analysis classified as it is suspicious activity and we got it right and what is the name of the pdf file payment hyphen updated dot pdf so let me answer that payment hyphen update id sorry pardon me update id dot pdf i misspelled it payment hyphen update 
id.pdf yeah this one is correct and what is the sh uh, sha256 hash of pdf file so the hash value we can simply move to the text report where you will be able to get the sha256 hash now i copied this and the next question is what two ip addresses are classified as malicious defang the ip addresses so we need to look for the ip address which flagged as malicious so when i scroll down here i am unable to see so let me see here here i am unable to see that ip coming back to this report here i can see in connections there are two ips flagged it as flagged as malicious so let me copy those ips so this is one ip and uh, so here is the next one and i am adding comma and uh, defanging the ip address so let me copy this and paste it over here yeah i got it right and what windows process was flagged as potentially bad traffic and i already found that here so when i click this threat option i'll be able to see the process name process id and its classification potentially bad traffic so this is what we need svc host dot exe so let me answer that svc host dot exe and uh, i got it right let me move to the third one the third case the last case and again we have uh, another app any analysis of an excel file this time so let's see let's try to answer what is the uh, what what is this analysis classified as and uh, it is malicious activity earlier it was suspicious activity and what is the name of the excel file and the name of the excel file is this one let me copy that and what is the sha256 hash of the file so from the same page uh, no i am not able to see the hash value here and when i move to its text report i'll be able to receive its hash value and here we go we have the sha256 hash and submitted and the next one what domains are listed as malicious defang the url and submit the answer in alphabetical order i am moving to the report here i can see all the three domain names so let me try to paste one by one now i need to defang the url so got the results <clears throat> when i paste this and submit i got it right and what is the ip address are listed as malicious defang the ip address and submit the answer from lowest to highest at this time we are going to check for ip address and here i can see the ip address as well So let me defang the IP address this time. Actually, lowest to highest we need to map. So I think we mapped it wrongly. Yeah.
So here we go. And I copy and paste, I got it right. And what vulnerability does this malicious attachment attempts to exploit? So when I see this tags, I can see the vulnerability ID CVE 2017-11882. That is the CVE ID. 2017-11882. That must be the answer. Yeah, we got it right. And last part, conclusion. As usual, uh, they gave three another tools that we can refer. So try to refer these URLs as well. I'll add these URLs as well in the video description. So this is just an advisory. So when I click complete, I finished this room. And uh, yes, these are the tools that I wanted to share with you and hope you really learned something new and you got to know some new tools that might you that you might not aware before. And during your phishing analysis, without wasting a time in manual analysis, you can understand the concept and you can use these tools to fasten your process. And hope you really enjoyed this. If you really did, hit the like button and consider subscribing my channel. You can put a comment in the, I mean, your comment in the comment section. I'll be reading those. You can share this video among your friends, obviously. And yeah, and we have two more rooms, fishing rooms. I'll be uh, making those videos, uh, releasing those videos in the upcoming days. And apart from that, I also uh, have few other interesting concepts to share with you. So stay tuned for that. Um, catch you next time. Love you guys.